Mercury Bullet too was making good time. On Saturday, its chances of even starting looked grim, its motor blowing up. But the crew of the Reverend were good Samaritans. They came to the rescue, offering a spare. Un and Mercury Bullet were fighting it out for the minor placing. Second home, Mercury Bullet in 41.0. The BP Southern 80 is about another competition. It's the rivalry between inboards and outboards. The first of the outboards in Baker's Blitz today is this boat on your screen. It is the Mercury Bullet, a great boat. It has 600 horsepower being produced by two outboards on the back of this machine. It is finely tuned, spattered by Ben Simonis out of Shepparton, Victoria, and capably driven by Lindsay Beer. The whole team is very crackerjack. There's no worry about these guys as they're coming around some of the big sweepers at the moment, trying to get their act together. In fact, pulling fast time at the moment. Can they knock off the action boat at the moment with that time of 7.43? The moment of truth for them. I think they're going to be second fastest. Going across the line now with 7.46. They've done it. Mercury Bullet, the second boat away today in the BP High Tide Southern 80. And as we said, 80 grueling kilometres around this twisting, turning Murray River. Interesting yesterday, second in the Baker's Blitz, recording a time of 7.46, only two seconds slower than action. And already we've seen action with a problem. Smoke billowing out the left-hand bank of the Chevrolet engine. This boat's totally different on your screen at the moment. It's a double outboard. It's pulling about 600 horsepower at the moment out the back from these two seemingly small motors. The team very well oiled machine. Lindsay Beer, the man of the moment behind the wheel. Mercury bought the boat. Looking down quickly to the readout on our BP high tide radar, we're recording times of 144 kilometres an hour for Lindsay Beer. This boat is amazing. Lindsay Beer settling down in the Mercury bullet. Barry McDermott, the observer in this boat, and of course, most important position, he's the eyes and ears for the driver. He keeps back, looking across at the skiers, finding out what the situation is. He will give hand signals to the driver, faster, slower, whatever is necessary. Confirmation just coming to us that action is definitely retired for the day. Bottom end troubles in the boat, we believe it has thrown a Conrod right through the side of the block. But it won't be perturbing this man at the moment, and maybe for only the second time in the 26 year history of this race, an outboard just may win the event. The Southern 80 is what we're watching, and it is teamwork that we are certainly being thrilled with at the moment as we watch them go around another bend. The precision between the driver, the observer and the skiers is absolutely unbelievable. 60 metres of rope between the boat and these two heroes in my view who are hanging back there at sometimes speeds up to the old 100 mile an hour mark. They're coming down to one of the other torturous sweeping bends of the Murray and Mercury Bullet is looking good. Great job today for Lindsay Beer and the crew. The outboard singing along. Here's the final bend from. There's the BP high tide finish, and it's going to be Mercury Bullet first boat home, and will sit on top of the leaderboard until the next contender comes through. Recording a time of 34 minutes and 27 seconds. That's 142.81 kilometre average.
single noise. Nothing wrong with it, but you hear everything, you know. Uh, And of course, Ronnie, uh, when you're talking about the Morley Ford Southern 80 and have you driven a Ford lately, don't forget you've got to put fuel in those cars, and that fuel should be Caltex fuel because it's Caltex that are sponsoring the street parade this morning. Uh, this is a program on the Pia Marion Assault. People out of the boat. We've run the very successful hotel out already in that. He's cute, the half of her. BP Mercury Bullet, towing world champion Leanne Brown and Atuka's own Joe Hamill. Here's the champion women, BP Mercury Bullet. Mercury Bullet Team. Well, she goes pretty well as well. We assume 